Hello my beautiful cleaners, today I will show you how you can efficiently farm supply points in Back 4 Blood game by yourself with bots. You don't need anyone to progress through the story or unlock supply lines with the best cards. If that sounds interesting to you, then as usual, welcome to Insanity. And guys, lately I received a lot of questions about solo farming or how to set up your game in a way that you could play with bots. And everything is really simple. So you have to go to preferences and in matchmake preferences, you have to create private lobbies. After that, go to your privacy settings and you should set your party with invites only so that you could invite people only nobody can join you or maybe friends it depends on your preference but definitely you should apply these settings and after that you can use whatever mission you want you can run whatever difficulty with this mechanic but for the best supply farming method right now we have only one mission which is unbeaten the road to hell at act 3 it's really handy mission especially because it's a checkpoint on veteran difficulty and in three minutes you will be able to get 80 supply points of course i have full run in this video as well just to showcase how it's really easy you will be able to copy my deck and uh, pretty much that's it man like i said you have couple options actually you have two ways how to play with bots one is go traditional way right now unfortunately back for blood is not dead but it's not active either it has maybe 10k active players per hour but still those are not great numbers actually left for that has more <laughs> active players right now that's crazy anyway if you will not find anyone to match make Back for Blood game will create separate lobby or session for you, but at any given point somebody can join you, but most likely not. Like I said, activity is not that high right now, so if I have to rate with this method, most likely maybe two or three runs out of seven will be with other players. All other runs will be with the bots, but if you don't want to risk to play with people who can be more how I can how I can put this uh, uh, lightly more trashy than the bots or as sucking <laughs> you got the point sometimes you will find people who oh my goodness I don't know how they turned even Xbox on <laughs> you can message them to the chat and they will still open the gate <laughs> So if you don't want to risk with your mental health, I would recommend you of course to go with first method. Just apply the settings that your session is private and uh, you, somebody can join you through the invite or only your friend can join your session. Really easy, really simple way how to play with bots. And if your teammate will leave, it will be immediately replaced with the bot and you can continue with your run. And you will re receive supply points, so don't worry. Even if you will play with some friend and he has to go, you will be able to carry your progression even further and achieve or receive supply points. But like I said, right now you can wait it can take a little bit longer sometimes maybe one minute or two minute minutes excuse me but still most likely this game will create your own lobby for you anyway so yeah these are two dope ways and like I, like i am showing you right now this mission is super easy super quick just make a hybrid build between speed cards and grenades use pipe bombs and that's all she wrote of course at the beginning of this mission after shopping just go to the left side to the gate when you will go to the gate just go to the left side there you will see pile of rocks jump from the pile of rocks and in mid air press crouch button and you will be able to get over the fence or the gate very easily don't open it if you will play with randoms or 
friends tell them to not open the gate. If the gate will be closed, this game will think that you are still in safe zone, you will not be able to trigger any hordes or zombies with mutations like tall boys. So pretty goddamn easy farming and I would recommend you to take advantage of this before it receives patch or nerf. You know that most likely if it will not be fixed then at the end this mission will give you maybe 20 or 30 supply points or even the, or even less so like i said take advantage of this have a nice day and see you in the next one bye gather another one watch me no big Need deal to no big deal watch out You copy? We're at the lab. Good. Now listen carefully. 